How much money do you think you need in order to build a quality home theater setup? If you said $5,000 or $2,000 or even $1,000, you'd be wrong. I can show you here in this video how to build a quality home theater system for only $800. And in my opinion, this home theater setup is going to rival home theater setups that are two, three, maybe even four times the price. So if you want to see how I did it and all the equipment that I chose, stay tuned. So this video is going to be pretty similar to my Shop Goodwill budget home theater videos, which I'll link the playlist up in the corner if you're interested to check that out. But instead of showing you just the individual components and giving you various options to choose from, I'm just going to pick what I think is a good deal and show you how you can get a quality home theater setup for $800. Now, first and foremost, there are a few rules to this. Much like my Shop Goodwill videos, I'm focusing on used items. That's kind of the point of this channel. So we're not looking at new items, we're looking at used items. And we're mainly going to be splitting our items up between Shop Goodwill and eBay. Uh, because certain items are kind of found at better prices and better quality items on each site. So we're going to be mixing the two sites here together. I'm going to be looking at a 5.1 or a 7.1 surround sound setup. I'm not looking at Dolby Atmos. I'm also only looking at 1080p. I'm not looking at 4K. Most of the time, the YouTubers that you see in these videos are talking about specific components. They're not actually grouping all the major parts together. So you're going to see, I can build you a home theater for $500 or $800 or $1,000, but it's going to be just the speakers, or it's going to be just the AVR, or it's going to be the speakers and the AVR, or just the projector or a TV. It's not going to actually have everything together, which in this video, I'm going to list all the major components that you need to get your home theater up and running. So we're going to talk about an AVR. We're going to talk about a projector. We're going to talk about your main LCR speakers. We're going to talk about surround speakers, a subwoofer, a media player, and a Harmony remote. I'm also going to mention about a projector screen, although I'll get to that a little bit later, but I, I think DIY is your better option with that. But I'm going to talk about all these major components together, and that's still going to be $800. Now, I'm also not going to talk about cables or furnishings in your home theater, you know, couches, chairs, tables, and equipment rack, you know, all that sort of stuff. That is gonna be something that obviously you're gonna incur more cost with that, but you are kind of in a better spot to just do that stuff on your own and buy stuff local and buy some of that stuff new versus buying used items. I'm mainly looking at just the major components in this video. So, with that being said, we'll get done with all of that. We're on to the meat and potatoes. Let's get on to the actual home theater build. So we're going to start with the AVR, and we're going to start out on Shop Goodwill. And this is an Onkyo TX SR607. And as of the recording of this video, you're probably going to be looking about $60 to $75 all in on this receiver. And in my opinion, that's a very good deal. Uh, you're going to get multiple HDMI inputs, seven channel processing for seven speakers. You're going to have good audio quality, a decent amount of watts per channel, and this has a fairly good upgrade path that if you started with this, you could then move into an Atmos or a 4K setup down the road for more money. But for me, for 60 to $75 all in on this product, this would be a great addition and what I'm choosing to add into this home theater build. So next, we're moving on to your left and right main speakers. 
Now there's a lot of options you can get for around the same price with numerous options between eBay and Shop Goodwill. But if we're going for strictly the best bang for your buck to get under this $800 limit, I'm looking at a pair of Polk RTI A4 speakers that are on Shop Goodwill. Now these speakers are going to be pretty good quality. They're going to be above your entry level speakers that you're going to find at a price point like this. And you can get them all in for about $60 to $75. And again, that's a pretty good deal for a pair of speakers like this. They're not going to be the greatest quality in the world. They're not going to be the most dynamic or have the biggest drivers or best bass response. But to give you some good quality left and right main speakers in this home theater setup, I think this is a good option. This is definitely going to be my pick for some speakers in this setup. Now onto the center channel. For me, this is a pick that was in my Shop Goodwill videos when I talked about center channels. And this is the Boston Acoustics VR10. This was in those original listings that I posted several weeks back and it never sold. It's been relisted two or three times. Right now, you could probably get this for about $40 all in. And that's a very good price for this center channel. I've had the center channel in my home theater. It's a three-way center channel. It's gonna be solid, sturdy. It's, it's a pretty good speaker. So for $40, this is gonna last you for quite a while. And eventually you could upgrade into something better, whether it's an SVS or you know some other higher end quality speaker down the line. But at least to get you going for $40, this is a very good speaker. And I can almost guarantee you'll get it for the first bid price. So for $40, this VR10 is going in this setup. So now we're gonna get on to the surround sound speakers. And this may cause a little controversy and this may, you know, cause some issues out there in the general public. I understand that the traditional style of speaker that's being used in modern setups is gonna be monopole speakers, so direct radiating. They're not gonna be bipole or dipole speakers. However, I've used dipole and bipole speakers in my home theater, and I think they can still give you some really good quality, especially if you're not using an Atmos setup, which this build is not gonna be for Atmos, it's for 5.1 or 7.1. So with that in mind, my first set of surround sound speakers are also gonna be on Shop Goodwill. It's a pair of Polk Audio FXI3 bipole dipole speakers. Now, these are pretty good speakers. They're bipole, dipole, you can switch them on the back depending what mode you want them in. And I had the updated version of these in my home theater for a long time, the FXI A4s and FXI A6s. They're really good speakers. The only reason I got rid of them is because I found my JBL speakers that are kind of like an end game item for me. Had I not bought those, I would still be using these bipole dipoles in my home theater today. They're really good quality. And for about $60 all in, these are really good speakers that you could get and use them mainly as either your surround speakers in a 5.1, you could put them on the side or in the rear of the room, or just keep them in the rear of the room in a 7.1 setup and then get another pair of speakers for your side surrounds. Which leads me to the next pair of surround sound speakers. There's a pair of Infinity 2000.1 speakers also here on Shop Goodwill. Now these speakers are direct radiating their regular monopole speakers. You're looking at approximately $40 for these speakers as I'm recording this video. These are older, they're not the newest, greatest, you know, thing out there. But Infinity is a very good quality speaker brand, and these speakers will give you good quality in the surround sound field. So for $40, these are a really good quality pair of speakers. And there's other Infinity and other, you know, Polk Audio speakers out there, like some T15s and whatnot. So if you really wanted to forego the FXI series speakers and not have bipole dipole, you could still get another set of direct radiating speakers for around the same price. So between the two of them, you're looking at about $100 all in for these two sets of speakers. So for me, I'm adding them to our budget build. Now we're on to the subwoofers. 
There's a ton of Polk Audio PSW-10s, PSW-108s, and PSW-110s on Shop Goodwill. Some of them are pickup-only items, so you want to kind of steer clear of those unless you live nearby the city that's selling them. But in terms of the shipped items, you can find a lot of these for under... $75 or sometimes even under $60. The one that I'm mainly looking at, you're going to get for about $60 shipped. It's a PSW 110. Uh, it's not as highly reviewed as the PSW 108s or PSW 10s, but it's still a very good, you know, solid subwoofer that's going to give you decent bass extension. Again, not going to be as good as some of the highest quality stuff out there. It's not going to be like an SVS or something, but it's at least a good entry level subwoofer to get you in the door in your home theater. And at this price, you know, you can find, like I said, a bunch between $60 and $70. You could actually double up and buy two of them for about $150 all in. And that would give you two subs and give you a little more dispersion of the subwoofer around your home theater. So for me, I'm adding this into our budget theater build. One of the biggest expenses we're going to have on this list is going to be the projector. There is one option on Shop Goodwill that I'll mention just very briefly here. There is a Sony HW50ES that's on there. In my estimation, you could probably get that for about $100 all in. Uh, I don't know if for my taste I would go with that. I've had a projector in that line. And while the image was decent quality, the build quality was suspect and it broke almost immediately. And so I don't know if I would venture down that route, but you could probably go and get that for a decent price. I'm gonna give you two options on eBay. I'm gonna give you the JVC RS20, which is gonna be listed for about $320 all in. And I'm also gonna give you a Runco RS 1100 Ultra projector, which is going to be about $360 all in. You're going to get better black levels on the JVC, but you're going to get better color accuracy, better bright scene content, and better motion on the Runco. But these are both going to be very high quality projectors, even for their age, as compared to buying something for three, four, five hundred dollars new nowadays. These are gonna last you for a little while. They're not 4K. Yes, the specs could be better on these. They're not gonna be insanely bright either. They're probably gonna to top out around 1,000 or 1,300 lumens max on there. But if you have a properly set up home theater, either one of these options is gonna be really good and a definite step above buying some lower quality DLP or LCD projector off of Amazon or Walmart or wherever you're gonna find it. So either one of these would make a good option. For me, I would lean towards the Runco, only because that projector was over $20,000 when it first came out versus the JVC. Now, you could go either way. I would pick the Runco, but the JVC would be just as good. And both of these options are gonna get you high quality images, good decent black levels especially on the JVC and a good price so for that we're gonna throw the Runco into this home theater budget build now for the projector screen we're gonna look at eBay but I do have to say going the route of DIY is gonna be your best option in my opinion as I posted in my video that's gonna be linked up here I built the screen that's behind me for under $50, and that's a 110 inch screen. It's really high quality. And I would definitely say go that route. Buy the wood, buy the you know material, just some spandex material, a black layer followed by a white or an off-white layer above it, some screws, some staples, put it up on your wall, and you're gonna get way better quality out of something like that versus what I'm listing here on eBay. Because there is an ALR screen it's like a hundred inches it's seventy dollars it's gonna be very bare bones very basic I don't know the quality on this I don't know if it's gonna be very good but you can buy that and at least get a hundred inch screen which either of the projectors I talked about will be able to fill relatively easily so we'll throw that into the budget build but honestly for me go the route of DIY 
buy the lumber, buy the material, and just build it yourself. You're going to be able to customize it and get a much better quality screen going that way than the way we're going here. But for the sake of this video, we'll throw that $70 projector screen into this build. Now we also have to have a source to play some media on this stuff because what's the reason to have all this if you have nothing to play? So we're gonna go on to a Blu-ray player. And there are a few options between Shop Goodwill and eBay that you could pick here. But honestly, for me, I'm going Shop Goodwill. There is a Sony Blu-ray player. It's the BDP S301. And you're only looking about $15 all in on this because it's a buy it now item with $5 shipping. So you're looking about 15 bucks for this thing. It's gonna be a fairly decent quality Blu-ray player. It's not going to be the most high-end thing you're going to find, but it's going to get the job done. It's going to be, you know, at least quality components for its time. And it's something that you can easily upgrade down the road because you're not sinking a whole ton of money into it. So for me, I would pick this $15 Sony Blu-ray player and throw that into the budget build. Now one other thing you're going to notice, most if not all of these items that need a remote don't have a remote. And that's one thing you're going to run into when you're buying used items online is a lot of times it's not going to have all the accessories. So with that in mind and including everything that's here in this budget build, I'm going to throw in a Harmony remote. Now, for this option, I'm going to look at eBay. There is a Harmony remote. It's actually the same exact one that I use here in my home theater. All in, you can get it for like $25.50. And that's going to be a real good quality remote. You can add multiple components to it. And every one of the items that I talked about, your AVR, your projector, your media player, all of that stuff is going to be in the database for this Harmony remote. So I would highly recommend adding this $25.50 Harmony One remote into this budget build. Now one other thing to note, especially with like the Harmony remote and the Roomco projector, these listings have the best offer option on them. So you can go through and offer something even lower than what I'm quoting. Just for simplicity, I use the straight buy it now prices. But you could offer less and probably save even more money on these things. To be fair, in doing research for this, I saved a bunch of items on eBay and I got best offers from the sellers on these items. So I know you can probably get even a better deal than what's on here. But with that being said, we're gonna go with the straight buy it now prices and what I estimated on the shop goodwill prices. And I don't know if I can get a drum roll, but I'm gonna try and put a drum roll in here. This is gonna be your total for this entire setup. So as you can tell, that's under $800 for all these items. And in my opinion, barring kind of the screen, which I think the DIY option would be a lot better, everything else that's in here, once you get it all set up and once you calibrate it properly, all these items put together are gonna give you a better home theater experience than another setup that costs at least double or three times as much as this. The upgrade path is there. You can go and get some other stuff and kind of move up the chain with different things down the road. But I think for this budget build, $800 all in, this is a real quality setup and definitely a good way to get your foot in the door and down the home theater path that you can look at going forward. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. Like I always say, I hope you enjoy my content. I appreciate all the people who've liked and subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, as I've been saying, I'm getting real close to a thousand subs. I'm really pushing to get that, uh, you know, done hopefully here in the next month or two. So all the help I can get is greatly appreciated. Uh, and with that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.